Yeah, let's do this. Unit operation models. This is one of the most interesting parts, in my opinion, because we are going to get to know all unit operations. Well, at least the most important one. We're going to check out the basic ones, which are essentially the common tab right here, and columns, some of them right here. All others are advanced. We're not going to check them out. They're either not in the scope of this course or they require much more technical attention. Anyways, let's continue. You can find them either as a palette right here floating or you can dock them. I typically dock them down here. I like them fixed or as a palette right here. Now you can either categorize them by physical operation. I mean like literally they work physically. You can categorize them by logical operations like recycle, addition, setting, etc. You can add some subflow sheet of them. That is, you can define processes in a subflow sheet. And finally, the column type. Hisis columns are kind of special. They are templates which can be manipulated for their own. So I don't like to pay that much attention into these type of model categories, but it's important that you understand how they are categorized in Hisis. I actually prefer this uh, category. You can click on, well, you can press key F12 and you will get all the unit operations in these, let's say, categories. You can get them all. You can get vessels. The problem with vessels is that you got mass separation, you got a reactor, and you got a separator, which is flash, or a tank, which is not even a proper unit operation other than storage. You can get heat transfer operation, which is heat exchangers and so on. Rotating equipment is either compressor, expander, or pump. Piping equipment, nothing more than pipes. Solids handling, all units operations which require solids. Reactors, well, you will see all these three right here. Pre-built columns, such as distillation columns, absorbers, are present. Short columns as well. Templates, if you have them, they are here. And all, all, all these are not included right now. Those are a little bit more uh, advanced. We don't want to confuse you right now. So let's go and check out in the Aspen Heisey solver how do they uh, show in the program itself. So see you in the next video.